everyone, welcome to another video of Fun With Soap. Today's course is about essential oils and carrier oils. So whether you are very experienced in these oils or new to them, this video is for you. I'm going to go through this in parts. Part 1 will be carrier oils and part 2 will be essential oils. So while going through carrier oils and essential oils, we'll also go through the benefits, some of the uses and also precautions that you should take when working with these oils. So get comfortable and let's jump straight into the world of carrier and essential oils. Okay, so I have the information here with me. Let's go through it. So let's start with part one, which is carrier oils. So carrier oils are different from essential oils in many different ways. They are extracted from certain parts of the plant, like seeds and kernels. And unlike essential oils, they don't evaporate when they're exposed to air and they are fairly odorless. So carrier oils are fairly odorless and we know that essential oils are usually quite scented. Carrier oils play a big role in lotions and creams and when chosen wisely they should nourish and moisturise your skin. So when working with carrier oils it's important to make sure that you match the correct carrier oil with the skin type that is going to be using the product that your carrier oil is going into. Now let's chat about protecting your skin with carrier oils. So your skin is a protective barrier and every day you're interacting with water, soap, chemicals, weather conditions and just your general environment. Your skin can be affected by these factors and the daily wear and tear can lead to your skin feeling and looking unhealthy. Your skin can become oversensitive, chapped and dry and you can get problematic conditions, for example acne. So pure cold processed oils contain natural protective properties that can help fight the daily disruptions to your skin. So when these oils are used properly they can help maintain the balance of your skin. This is because oils are softening. So using these oils can actually help with all the problematic things that your skin goes through. So now we're going to chat a bit more about the individual carrier oils and obviously it's important to know the benefits of them because you want to know what you're going to get out of an oil when putting it in a product. We are going to go over some of the more common carrier oils. There are obviously many carrier oil options out there so we won't go through all of them today but I'm going to go through some of them that probably come up more commonly. The first one is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is from the nut kernel of the sweet almond tree. So this is the same tree that produces the almonds that we eat. This oil is cold pressed and refined and it is also pale yellow and has a soft nutty scent. So like I said in the beginning, carrot oils are fairly odorless but some of them will have a slight scent. Sweet almond oil is ideal for dry skin that is chapped and scaly. So scaly is like when your skin gets very dry and it almost looks like flaky. It's also ideal for mature skin and skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis and dermatitis. You can enhance the therapeutic properties of this oil by combining it with other oils like rosehip oil, avocado, calendula, hemp seed or carrot infused oils. So sometimes you can enhance properties of one oil by adding it with other oils. Okay, so now let's look at the benefits of sweet almond oil. Yeah, so almond oil is actually a very good conditioner for your skin. It is also rich in antioxidant vitamin E as well as squalene and this is a liquid that protects the natural oils that are already in your skin. Almond oil is also a good source of manganese. Manganese is essential for helping with premature aging. It also soothes irritation and prevents blemishes. Manganese can also shield the skin from UV damage. So the high levels of vitamin E also help prevent UV related damage, which also includes the formation of fine lines. So as you can see, this oil has quite a few nice benefits. Okay, so with the benefits, there are obviously a lot of benefits out there for all the oils. So I'm just going to pick a few and we'll go through them. But as you can hear, those are some really nice benefits coming from the sweet almond oil. Next oil we'll talk about is rosehip oil. So this oil is bright red and it's extracted from the seeds of the fruit of the wild rose bush. So rosehip oil is best used in products that are targeted at aging skin and for treating inflammatory skin conditions. Okay, so let's go through some of the benefits. It helps reduce skin inflammation and it also helps to boost your collagen formation. That's really nice. And research shows that this oil is suitable for treating fine lines, aging skin and hyperpigmentation caused by sun damage. It also helps exfoliate and brighten the skin and it moisturizes and hydrates your skin too. So benefits of this oil is it's deeply hydrating, it offers long lasting moisturization, it is anti-aging and it's non-acnegenic. So I think that is really nice. Someone who has suffered with acne myself, I like to read when something is non acnegenic It soothes dry skin and even sunburn. So that's another versatile oil that can do so many different things. Uh, okay, so next is hemp seed oil. 
Hemp seed oil is dark green in colour and it's derived from the hemp plant. So this oil has a unique combination of fatty acids, so therefore it helps retain moisture in your skin. Research shows that this oil, topically used, can reduce fine lines as well as other signs of ageing, making this oil great for people with more mature skin. Obviously when they say that, it doesn't just mean, oh, you can only use it for mature skin. It's just that it will be like extra beneficial for people with mature skin. It is full of skin protecting antioxidants. That's amazing. It is a good idea to use oil in after sun products. It reduces inflammation, hydrates the skin, and even regulates your oil production. The next oil we'll be talking about is coconut oil. So coconut oil is very lightweight and it's suitable for all skin types. Coconut oil can be used in products for face, body, hair and scalp. It's quite a diverse oil and it can be used in products for almost your whole body. Okay, so extra virgin coconut oil is made by either pressing the white meat of the coconut or by drying the meat first, then cold pressing it. Coconut oil has a sweet scent. So benefits. Coconut oil is such a good moisturiser, so I actually use coconut oil products and I definitely find that this is true, it is so moisturising and I just feel like it gives your skin feeling so nice and moisturised and nourished. It is a natural antibiotic, that's really interesting. Coconut oil is rich in vitamin E. This oil nourishes and moisturises your skin. Coconut also reduces hair damage that is caused by bleaching or dryness. I love using coconut oil hair products. I just feel like it really helps to revive your hair and make it feel healthier again. There's an acid found in coconut oil that is a potent antifungal. So that is also a really good benefit. So you get quite a good variety of benefits out of this oil. Okay, so the next oil we'll be chatting about is avocado oil. This is personally one of my favorites. About a month or two ago, I started using cold pressed avocado oil hair products. And honestly, my hair has been feeling amazing my hair feels moisturized it looks and feels healthier i'm someone who has dyed my hair a lot so it can definitely always use the extra tlc so i'm loving the avocado products i also use body products with avocado oil and, and i just love the effect it has and yeah so i definitely recommend avocado oil and products this oil is best used in products that are for dry and chapped skin it also helps with scar tissue and stretch marks it is also very good for dry hair Avocado oil isn't from the seed, but from the flesh of the fruit. Benefits of avocado oil. It is rich in vitamin E. It is ideal for very dry or mature skin and even for stretch marks. Avocado is also good for your hair, like I mentioned. So avocados are full of many nutrients and vitamins, and these nutrients and vitamins are actually very good to keep your hair growing healthy and also just to keep it strong. Avo stimulates collagen formation. Avo leaves your hair feeling and looking healthier and gives your skin a smooth, soft and silky feeling. So I can definitely back that statement up. Like I said, I use Avo products and I love them. Argan oil is the next oil that we will be chatting about. So this oil is suitable for all skin types, dry, oily, combination and even sensitive skin. Argan oil is also really good for hair products. You will find a lot of hair products have argan oil in them. This oil is extracted from the nuts of the argan tree. Benefits of argan oil. So argan oil is rich in vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. It also improves the elasticity of your skin. Argan oil is very moisturizing. It protects and softens the skin. I love that. It also provides anti-aging benefits. So another interesting benefit is that this oil can actually help in healing wounds and it also helps prevent acne because it reduces the sebum production. Now is evening primrose oil. Evening primrose is a light yellow oil with a subtle marine scent. This oil is suitable for all skin types, but it is especially beneficial for aging, sensitive or inflamed skin. This oil can be used for all skin types, but they do just mention that it would be extra beneficial for aging, sensitive or inflamed skin. Rapeseed oil is suitable for oily and combination skin. It can be used in products for the face, body, hair and scalp, so another one of those diverse oils. This oil is obtained from the seeds of grapes. This oil is scentless and is a byproduct of the wine industry and is extracted from pressed grape seeds. The benefits. Grapeseed oil is known for being an anti-inflammatory. Something you will notice with a lot of the oils is that they have an anti-inflammatory property. It is also known for its antioxidant properties. It has high amounts of omega chain fatty acids as well as vitamin E. That's another one that seems to come up a lot in oils is vitamin E and antioxidants. 
It treats acne, breakouts, grapeseed oil helps keep your skin softer and it can also help with the elasticity of your skin. It can also even out your skin tone. Grapeseed oil can protect your skin from damage caused by the sun. Okay, and then it is hazelnut oil. Hazelnut oil is best for oily and combination skin. So that was the same thing for the grapeseed oil. Hazelnut oil is obtained from the fresh nuts of a hazelnut tree. It is extracted by cold pressing. This oil is a deep yellow colour and has a strong nutty scent. So even though a lot of the carrot oils are fairly odourless or have a light scent, this one has a strong nutty scent. It is good for unclogging pores in oily or combination skin. So I'm actually someone who has combination skin and I love the sound of this because it unclogs your pores. It moisturises the skin and it can also be used to heal wounds. Hazelnut oil is high in vitamin E and fatty acids. So vitamin E actually helps improve the elasticity in your skin and it also makes your skin look more supple and firm. It is best used in products for sensitive skin. With that being said, it is also well suited for dry, oily and combination skin and it's actually also good for hair products. So again, it is basically good for most skin types but they are just saying that it would be extra beneficial for someone who has sensitive skin to use marula oil. Marula oil comes from the kernels of a marula tree. This oil is good for preventing breakouts and it also helps to keep the skin hydrated. It is high in antioxidants, essential fatty acids and even amino acids. So this sounds like a really good oil as it has quite a lot to offer. Marula oil is often used as an ingredient in skincare products and it seems to be beneficial for oily and dry skin and also for acne prone and aging skin. When topically applied, Marula has some protective properties which can help the skin retain moisture. Marula oil is good at keeping hair soft, supple and moisturised too. Sesame seed oil is suitable for all skin types and is obtained from the seeds of the sesame plant. This oil is extracted from either the raw seeds or from roasted seeds. If the oil is extracted from raw seeds, it will be a light colour and if it is extracted from the roasted seeds, it will be a bit darker in colour. Let's go through the benefits. Okay, so this oil has many therapeutic properties and can be used in many products. This oil has antibacterial and antiparasitic properties. This makes it good to use in hair products that treat dandruff and hair loss. Sesame oil is good for hair and scalp products. This oil is good for baby skincare products and even products to protect against diaper rash. Vitamin E can protect the skin cells from damage caused by environmental factors such as UV rays, pollution and toxins. And this oil is actually suitable for all skin types. It is obtained by cold pressing the seeds of the sunflower. This oil is light yellow with a subtle scent. Okay, so some of the benefits are it is non-greasy and suitable for all skin types but especially good for sensitive skin. Sunflower seed oil is rich in vitamin A and vitamin E, which helps encourage healthy skin. The vitamin A and E act as antioxidants. They help regenerate damaged skin cells. They also help to get rid of bacteria that can cause acne. This oil absorbs easily into the skin and doesn't block the pores because of the fact that it isn't greasy. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about carrier oils. There are so many carrier oils out there. Today we literally just went through a few of them, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it was helpful and informative. So next is part two, which is essential oils. I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this part. It is very informative with a lot of information about precaution, benefits, uses, and all of that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so now it's time for essential oils. What are essential oils? When making personal care products, essential oils play a massive role. Essential oils do not only enhance the scent of a product, but they are also very rich in a variety of therapeutic properties. Essential oils are tiny chemical structures that are metabolized within aromatic plants, which create these structures in the process of adapting to their environment. Essential oils can be produced in many ways. A few of the most common ways are steam distillation, cold expression, carbon dioxide extraction, and chemical solvent extraction. Using essential oils can stop infections, they can heal wounds, and they can even boost your immunity. You get a wide variety of essential oils, and there are many different things that you can use them for. Essential oils are volatile, this means that they evaporate into the air once they are exposed to the air as they oxidize. Let's chat about using essential oils in natural products. So it's very important to understand the essential oils that you're going to be working with. It's also important to understand what each essential oil has to offer. 
This is to ensure that you use the essential oils safely and effectively. In this video, you'll learn more about each individual essential oil. We'll also discuss important safety considerations for using essential oils when making personal care products. It is important to know which plants the essential oils are coming from. Even though some oils will be derived from the same plant, their chemical composition may vary. This can become quite confusing, especially if plants have similar names, yet have different properties. Oils can differ in therapeutic properties, so it is important to know as much as you can about the plants and oils. Imagine you think you're using an oil to boost your energy, but you accidentally use an oil that's more of a sedative. So that's just an example of how messing up your oils can kind of affect you. Plants are classified according to family, genus, species, and variety. Let's have a closer look at what these terms mean. Family. The plant kingdom is first divided into orders and then put into families, which will then represent the next highest order of classification. When assigning plants to a family, it is based on the common botanical features and similar characteristics. Genus. This refers closely to related plants and often includes more than one species. The name will often describe some aspect of the plant, like the shape of the leaves, the size of the flowers. The name could even be based on where the plant was found. Species. There is a difference between the species in the same genus, even though they have the same ancestry or nearly identical structure and behaviour. Together, the genus and species name could refer to only one particular plant. This name is a combined name and is very effective at identifying an individual plant. Variety. In some cases, you can find a species that is further divided into subspecies that have very similar plants. These similar plants are referred to as varieties. Many varieties can be created from a species through the cultivation of plants. The variety name will follow the genus and the species name. So back to the essential oils themselves. The next section we'll go through is the power of essential oils. Essential oils are very potent. This is because they are the very essence of a plant. When essential oils are applied topically, a wide variety of constituents can actually penetrate the top layer of the skin and through the rest of the layers found in the epidermis to reach the middle layer of the skin, otherwise known as the dermis. Once in the middle layer of the skin, these molecules can travel to the capillaries and then even make their way into your bloodstream. There is a maximum recommended amount of essential oils that should be added to the products you make. So here are some general precautions and safety guidelines when working with essential oils. Safety guidelines. Don't ingest essential oils. Don't apply essential oils straight onto your skin. So it can be in products that are going to go onto your skin, but don't just take a straight essential oil and put it onto your skin. Avoid contact with eyes and avoid contact with the mucous membranes. Keep essential oils out of reach of children. Don't use essential oils near an open flame. Essential oils are flammable, so this can be really dangerous. Do a skin patch test before using an essential oil for the first time. So this is just to see if anything goes wrong, then you know not to use that essential oil. Don't add essential oils directly to your bath water as it will accumulate at the top of the water and this can lead to your skin being irritated. Essential oils should be stored away from extreme heat or cold, light and moisture. Let's chat about the quality in essential oils. Aromatherapy has become increasingly popular. This means more companies are starting to create essential oils and products including essential oils. Unfortunately, this also means low-grade products are being sold. This is definitely something to look out for and be careful of because the quality of an oil is paramount to its safety and healing properties. So you definitely don't want to buy a low-grade oil. Using good quality oil in your products will allow you to achieve the oil's maximum results. So you really don't want to just buy a low-grade essential oil because it still isn't going to do it's full job, so there is really no point. Many things affect the quality of an essential oil. Some of these things are the plant's environment, the weather conditions, the soil type that the plant is in, the geographical location, the age of the plant, the production methods, the manufacturing equipment, and what's very interesting is that the month and even the time of day that the plant is harvested can affect the quality of the oil. Contamination. This can happen from pesticides and adulterants, which could include other oils. So the oils will be cheaper but the quality will not be as good. It is important to buy your essential oils from someone reputable. Okay, so just like the carrier oils, there is a large variety of essential oils available. So we won't go through each and every single essential oil available, but today we'll just go through some of the more common ones that are used in making personal care products. The first essential oil we'll go over is sweet basil oil. This perennial plant has a sweet scent. 
The leaves are dark green and are a pointed oval shape. The flowering part of the plant is a greenish or pink-white colour. The herb itself is actually popular in culinary use. This essential oil has a tonic-like effect on the skin. It is stimulating and helps increase your blood circulation. This oil contains strong antioxidants and it is also a potent antimicrobial. This means it can help kill or slow down the spreading of microorganisms. This oil is very well suited for products like disinfecting ointment as well as a lotion for hands and feet. Okay, so now we're going to chat about the benefits of sweet basil oil. It can revitalize dull skin and hair. It is used in treating acne and skin infections. It is often used in aromatherapy. This is because it has a very nice calming effect. Basil oil clears the mind and can provide mental strength. I think that's a really nice benefit to have because then not only can it help with your skin and your hair, but it can also help with your mind. Citronella oil is the next oil. This grass is perennial and tropical scented. It has smooth, drooping leaves. Citronella is commonly used and known for its insect repelling properties. So a lot of the time if you are buying insect repellent or you even get those candles that repel insects, a lot of the time it has citronella oil in because it's a very strong insect repellent. This oil contains components that can help fight or prevent bacterial and fungal infections. It is also used in skincare products made for oily combination and acne prone skin. Okay, so let's go over the caution for citronella. If you use this oil in a dilution higher than the recommended maximum amount, it can cause nausea. The citronella contained in this oil is a known allergen. It could cause irritated skin for some individuals. Benefits of citronella. It is a good insect repellent. It is an antifungal agent. Citronella oil can be used to treat parasitic infections and it's also good to help heal wounds. This oil is also used to help fight fatigue and uplift your mood. Geranium oil. The geranium plant is a woody perennial plant that grows quite tall. These plants have fragrant, deeply rich leaves that are green with small pink flowers. If this oil is used subtly, it will add a fresh rose scent to the personal care product. So this oil is very well suited to skin that is affected by hormonal imbalances. It tones and relieves blotchy and bloated skin. This oil is often used in products to help reduce the appearance of cellulite. Geranium oil has very strong antifungal and antibacterial properties. So this oil can help slow down bacteria and fungi growth. It can also help soothe face and body muscles. This all means that this oil is good for body toners, lotions and face creams. This oil's calming and tonic properties are actually believed to regulate many body systems, including the respiratory and circulatory functions. So there's a caution for this oil, of course. Geranium oil contains geraniol. When inhaled, it can cause liver enzymes to elevate and this can cause headaches and nausea. This oil has also been found to enhance the penetration of topical drugs. So do not make use of this oil if you are applying topical drugs to your skin. Overexposure to this oil can cause your skin to become irritated. Okay, so the next essential oil we'll be chatting about is lavender oil. I think this is one of the most popularly used essential oils out there. So it was definitely one on the list that we will be chatting about today. So the leaves of the lavender plant are very like a grey greenish colour and the stem is similarly coloured. This oil is obtained from the flowers of this plant. Lavender oil is one of the most popularly used essential oils, especially when it comes to aromatherapy. This is because it has a lovely scent, which has a very calming effect on the nervous system. It also has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Cautions. There are forms of lavender which are not actually suited for use on your skin. This is due to the high levels of camphor and eucalyptal, which drastically dries the skin. Before you use lavender in skincare products, check that the camphor and eucalyptal levels are under 2%. Lavender oil is a very versatile essential oil and it's known to help treat many things. Some of these things are anxiety and insomnia, allergies, fungal infections, eczema, nausea, and it is even known to help with menstrual cramps. Okay, so the next oil that we will be learning about is the lemon essential oil. This oil is from our popularly known sour fruit, the lemon. This oil has invigorating properties which can promote alertness, so it is very well suited for products used in the morning. It can be used to create revitalizing products like body wash and shampoo and even lotions. Lemon oil can be a bit of an antibacterial and antifungal, which is great when treating acne-prone and oily skin. It is well used in cleansers and toners. 
So now onto the benefits. It is a powerful antimicrobial. It can uplift your mood. This is obviously because of its wonderful scents. It's just so uplifting and revitalizing. It can even boost your metabolism. Lemon oil can help treat acne and improve your skin. It can heal wounds and it can even relieve pain. and has smooth stems and dark green leaves with reddish brown veins. This plant needs to be often replanted into new fields to ensure that you're getting a good quality essential oil. This essential oil is incredibly diverse as it can do so much. It is naturally an antiseptic oil so it can help get rid of dead skin and bacteria and it is suited for acne prone and oily skin. It also offers many therapeutic benefits and is good for after sun products because of its cooling effect. So obviously when using an after sun product, you want something with a cooling effect and that's what peppermint oil brings. And there's more. So this oil is quite diverse. This oil also offers sun protection and its SPF is rated at 7, which is ideal to use in daytime products like lip balms, gels and lotions too. But want to be careful with this oil because if not used carefully or properly, it can have negative effects. Benefits of Peppermint Essential Oil It has a fresh and pleasant scent which makes it great to add to soaps and cosmetic products. Moving on to tea tree oil. This is another one of those oils that is popularly used in so many products. This tree or shrub has flaky white bark and dark green or grey green leaves. The leaves are oval and its flowers grow in dense clusters along the stems and has small fine petals. Petals can be white, pale yellow, pink, green or red. With regards to aromatherapy, this oil is used to treat a few things like fungal, viral and bacterial infections. This oil is one of the most popularly used essential oils like I mentioned earlier. Here's a list of things tea tree oil helps with. It helps with acne, boils, thrush, rashes, insect bites, dandruff, sunburns, cold sores, and it also calms redness, swelling, and inflammation. It is a good idea to use this oil in skincare products for oily and acne-prone skin, as well as hair products like shampoo, conditioner, and treatments. Benefits of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is good for treating acne because of its anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. It's found to calm redness, swelling, and inflammation. It is also believed that tea tree oil can even help to prevent and reduce acne scars, therefore leaving you with skin that is smooth and clear. Rosemary is a shrubby herb with leaves that are like needles. It has been used for ages. It has been especially popular in the culinary industry. When it comes to personal care products, rosemary oil has been used largely for dry scalp, dandruff, and hair loss. Now this oil makes a good addition to hair products like shampoo, conditioner, and products that are specific to your scalp. Rosemary oil is a natural preservative and is well suited for lotions, face creams, toners, cleansers, etc. <laughs> to stimulate hair growth. I feel like that is a really nice benefit to have from an oil. This oil may even help with pain relief. It could ease stress and it can even reduce joint inflammation. The last oil that we are going to go over is lime essential oil. The tree of a lime has dark green leaves and fragrant flowers. The fruit from this tree is a lime. It is sour and has a thick green peel. This essential oil is very good for treating oily skin and is also good for treating acne. This oil can have a calming and relaxing effect on one's nervous system. Which, so this is another one of those oils that isn't just good for your skin and hair and body, but also for your mind. This oil can help detox the body due to stimulating effect. This also makes it good for products like massage oils. Lime oil is good for cleansers, exfoliators, toners, moisturizers, shampoo, conditioner and body washes too. Benefits. It has purifying properties. This oil can positively affect your mood, especially when diffused. Lime oil has a unique and stimulating scent. It is good for treatment of acne and can reduce cellulite. 
Flam has invigorating properties. essential oils play such a big role when making personal care products and there are so many different ones to choose from and we can enhance our products in so many different ways using these oils. These oils have so many nice benefits and I really think that we can make a difference to our skin, hair, body and mind if we use these oils properly in our products. I hope you guys enjoyed this course and I really hope that you decide to try and work with some oils and make your own personal care products. If you do please remember to use them carefully and properly to avoid any negative effects. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking this course. I really hope that it was helpful and informative and that it was fun to learn about all the different oils and their benefits and their uses and their precautions too. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye!